and the chains have arrived. Yep. Finally, I have good studded tractor tire chains. This is going to be a different winter. These chains are made by, and I can't read that, I'm not even going to try. These are made in Norway. If we look around the side of the box, and you can see right there. Uh, yeah, made in Norway. One pair, 81,5 kg. And then a bunch of, I mean, obviously that's in metric. I have no idea what that is. I know they're heavy. Anyways, Norway, of course, uh, one of the few countries in the world that actually uses the metric system. I think it's just Norway and Sweden. Anyway, whatever. All right. Next step, let's get these off of the uh, truck and crack that box open, see what we got. All right, here's a look at the chains. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like these style of chains. Uh, yep, yeah, looks good. Looks like there's some English here. Instructions. <laughs> All right, next step. Let's put these on. All right, so putting tire chains on uh, on a tractor isn't that hard. Uh, you don't need any special tools. The only thing you need, you need an adjustable wrench, um, a small piece of rope, and a good back, because these things are a little bit heavy. Uh, other than that, you don't need anything. Maybe a little patience, but... Uh, it, these aren't hard to put on, so let's uh, let's get this done. First thing you need to do is lay out your chains. So obviously studs up and hooks to the front. And there's that piece of rope I was talking about. So what I'm going to do is take these hooks, lift the chain up, hook the hooks on, hook the hooks on this rope, and then what you have to do is slowly drive the tractor forward. And as you do, the chains will drive on. So you just drive a little ways, straighten the chains up, drive a little ways, straighten the chains up. And as the tire goes all the way around, that rope will hold that chain in place so that as you drive over it and it comes up this side, you're going to want to stop about axle height. And that's where you're going to hook the chains together.
Okay. Okay, so that was the easy part. Uh, that wasn't too bad, but now that we have them on, it's going to be a matter of uh, hooking everything together, which isn't too bad either. It doesn't take long, a few minutes, but sometimes you got to have a little patience. So that's what the wrench is for. You have to take these uh, connectors apart. Okay, now I gotta get these hooks in. Now I gotta fasten the inside connector. and then connect. And then connect the side chain. And the outside connector. And the outside connector, <clears throat> tighten those up with a wrench and you should be good to go.
Well, there the chains are installed. They're nice and tight. I did take it for a little drive around the yard. That's uh, typically what you would do. Just, you don't have to go very far. You just have to uh, go for a little drive around the yard and these will typically loosen up a little bit. So I readjusted them, but now they're nice and tight. If you do have loose chains, your best bet would be to spiderweb some bungee cords here on the outside because loose chains will wear real fast. But those are, uh, those are nice and solid. I like these chains, I like the pattern, I like the studs. Uh, that's gonna make a big difference this winter. Yeah, yeah that's gonna change uh, snow removal. The old Coyote. You know, I've had this tractor here for 10 years and uh, you know, I plowed a lot of snow with it. And I've had some, we've had some bad winters. And every winter, I always get in two or three jams. And, oh, I think, well, gee, I wish I had some uh, some ice chains. But you know what it is. And then you just kind of forget about it. And then the next winter comes. But this year, I am prepared. I finally have my chains. So let's see uh, how they work. I bet they're going to be awesome. Now all I have to do is wait for the snow to fly. Well, I've got a couple months yet. Usually we don't uh, get like any real snow until the end of December. But who knows, you know, every winter's different. So I got these on while the weather was still nice here in the fall. I don't have anything else to do with the tractor uh, from now until the snow falls. So wanted to get it ready. Yeah, you know, you can't beat this, these uh, these four-wheel drive tractors are amazing. I mean, compared to the old two-wheel drive, I had an old two-wheel drive tractor at one time, and uh, it was a great tractor. I mean, it had uh, it had chains on it, but you know, even with chains, you can't compare it to a four-wheel drive tractor. Yeah, I've had this uh, Coyote for 10 years. I'm just impressed with it. it you know, it's uh, it's been a great tractor. It's done everything I've wanted to do with it, and uh, nothing. I haven't had any problems yet. So. Anyways, uh, just as a coincidence, you know, these chains are from Norway. And, uh, you know, I've, I've recently had my uh, ancestry, you know, DNA done. I don't know if anybody's ever done that. If you guys watching have done that. But uh, I got the kit for my birthday or whatever. So I said, all right, well, I'll send it in. I really had no idea where my ancestors were from other than they were European, obviously. And, uh, um Anyways, they say there's there's always a, a surprise when you get your test results, but I was surprised. You know, my ancestors are from uh, Scandinavia, so that would be Sweden, Norway, and uh, also Finland. And I had no idea, so it was kind of cool. Anyways, uh, I guess that explains the blonde hair and blue eyes, and I kind of always felt like I had a little Viking blood running through me. Anyway, guys, I'll end the video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope this uh, helps somebody out there, too. If you're uh, thinking about putting on a set of chains, it's not hard to do. And uh, leave me some comments below. I love reading the comments out here. It gives me something to do, like I always say, if I can find some signal. And take care until next time, guys. We'll see you back here at the cabin.